offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the Church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. Rejoice and be happy, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his Virgin Mother Mary the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and it will be forever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, streaming live from the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass for all your intentions, especially the intentions of Pope Francis, the good health of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, the intentions of our Superior General, our Father Baldir Jose de Castro, SSP, all doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioners, and all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. All intentions offered through Somboy TV Mass and those who are enrolled in the St. Paul Mass Association. Also for the special intentions of George Vargas, Javier and Ponce families, Alcantara and Arsenio families, Cynthia Flores, Sigmund Kirk Lassam, Eden Domingo Cardenas, John Dexter, Servitilio, and family, Sam and Sid Bautista, Agnes May Marquez, Divine Seneca Group, Joycelyn Enot, Donila Passion, Sander Rufon, Yasmin and Casal and Macy Mill, Ugmad Salvador and family, Carmelo Lagman and family, Advincula family, Sir John, Connie Guiang and family, Juliet Dunacao, Danilo Niebres, Romeo Tagines. For the thanksgiving of Alcantara family, 
Ike and Grace, Orlina and family. June and Ana Bautista and family. Agnes, May Marquez. C and Co families. JB and Christine Borja and family. Maria Takeda and family. Denol Vargas and family. Shirley Shields and family. Mary Joy Pabuo and family. For the birthday Thanksgiving of Maria Victoria A. Hassan, Silvia Santos Veloso, Macy Herchen Mill, Carlos Albino III, Rafael Ugmad Jr., Lita M. Carmen. For the good health of Pedro Peña, Dr. Teresa Montinola, Gio Liam Alcantara, Jace de los Santos, Dr. Faye Bautista, Jesus Marquez family, Ordonez Ramos and Veloso families, Jimmy Enot and family, Cindy Ejercito and family, Agrippina B. Baraquiel, Pilar Lagman, Gemily Ruiz, Advincula family, Mary C. and family, Betilda Gamir, Felix, Fräulein, Angelo, Francine, and Nelly Vista Monge. For the healing and recovery of Herbert Garong, Francisco Baldo Arsenio, Tina Rose Marie Kanda, Anne Margaret Rivadulia, Patricia Drosa, Dr. Cynthia Fernandez and family, Rosenda Enot, Aimee Monaya, Joseph Ejercito Estrada, Nelki De Quilla, Agrippina Baraquiel, Glenn Amoroso, Gilbert Advincula, Cynthia and Rudy San Gabriel, Maria Carolina Hamir, Joshua Noel Campos, Karen Kapal, Gina Serrano, Lorley Quintanar, Jacob Alviar, Romulo Letrero, Glenn Amoroso, and Elena Howe. For the repose of the souls of Gertrudez Peña, Ambrosio Nena, Billy, and Joey Diaz, Antonio Guzman, Celine Tay, Florentino Caridad, Flo Serfina, Yolanda B. Marquez, Rufina and Marcelino Ordonez Jr., Robert and Elizabeth Urot, Rebecca Pasamon, Antonio and Emilia Vizcara, Rodolfo Baraquiel, Juanita Nitz Tolentino, Anna Analupa Iraola, Florencio B. Turla Jr., Teresita Tanglao Turla, Sainayda Hilario Marcelino, Sita Orculio, Dina Pizarro, Henel San Juan, Amelia Campos, Filomeno Victoria Leonor, Floro and June Tadena, Siriaco, Pasita Salvador, and Armando Hoxon, Pedro Tara, Sen Estrella Magpantay, Melissa Villanueva, Soraya Romero, Maria Corazon Molo, Cheryl Yoshisawa, Angel Vargas, Tiburcio Aspiras, Mauro Olier.
We begin our Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on the earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, you who are Jews, indeed, all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon this throne. He foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit, that you received from the Father, as you both see and hear. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to go undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O Lord, you are my hope. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. We all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, you are to say, his disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter po sa inyong lahat na nakikibahagi sa ating misa. Ngayon pong araw na ito, we are on the second day of the Easter octave o ang walong araw na pagdiriwang natin ng muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Walong araw po kasi masyadong malalim, masyadong uh, mahalaga ang ipinagdiriwang natin para ipagsiksikan sa iisang araw. Kaya po may Easter octave. At nagsimula po itong lahat noon pong Easter Vigil. At alam niyo po, ang favorite na part ko doon ay ang exalted. Sabi doon sa kantang yun, Rejoice! Let the earth be glad. Let Mother Church rejoice at hayaang manginig ang mga simbahan sa tinde ng ating kaligayahan at pagsasaya. Kung dito kayo nakibahagi sa Sambuhay TV Mass, narinig niyong pinoclaim ito ng maganda ni Father Micah. Ako rin po noon ilang beses nang nabigyan ng pagkakataon na awitin ang exultet. Pero sa totoo lang, nung hindi ako maasayin mag-exultet ngayong taon, ako ay nakahinga ng maluwag. Sa panahon kasi ngayon, parang mahirap kantahin ng buong puso ang exultet. Sure, pwedeng tamaan ang mga nota. 
pwedeng bigkasin ng mga lyrics. Pero yung kantahin ng exalted, ng mula sa puso, with complete sincerity, sa mga panahon ngayon, parang hindi siya madaling gawin. Sasabihin siguro ng iba, rejoice, magsaya, magdiwang. Bakit? Para saan pa ba? After all, dalawang Easter na tayong sarado ang mga simbahan. Dalawang magkasunod na Easter na tayong nangangapa sa kung ano pa ba ang pwedeng mangyari susunod. Dalawang magkasunod na Easter Vigil na tayong nagpupumilit maging positive, hopeful, focused on silver linings. Pero marami sa atin ang napapagod na. If we look at the Gospels in this Easter octave, we will hear the gradual spread of the ultimate good news that Jesus is alive, that Jesus has fulfilled His promise, that He has earned for all generations God's salvation. But before all that happened, His followers also felt hopeless. Defeated, scared, takot maaresto at ayaw matulad sa kanilang guro na pinako at pinahiya sa krus. The disciples too felt great despair. Kaya nga wala ni isa sa kanila ang agad na niwala na buhay na si Jesus. Even the two Marys in today's gospel who first saw the risen Christ felt a mix of fear and joy. Kahit pa paano, meron ding hesitation. Tapos nariyan pa ang mga chief priests na imbes na tanggapin ng katotohanan, ay nagpakalat pa ng fake news. At kung iisipin natin, dapat ang fake news nila ang nanaig. After all, sila ang merong pera, sila ang merong otoridad, sila ang merong impluensya. If it's a matter of their word against the word of a group of nobodies, the chief priests had the clear upper hand. But the news of the resurrection still overcame them. And what tipped the scales in the disciples' favor? It was not any wonder or miracle. It was the radical change in their lives and in their actions. As we see them in the first reading, from being scared, the disciples became bold. From being silenced, they were suddenly shouting at the top of their lungs. From being defeated, seemingly overnight, they became courageous. That radical change cannot be faked. It can only be a product of a genuine encounter with the risen Christ. At yun ang naging dahilan para paniwalaan sila ng mga tao. And the rest, as we say, is history. Ganun din sa atin. My dear brothers and sisters, we are not being asked to fake our hope. Sabi nga nila, fake it until you make it. As Christians, we are not being asked to muster our own strength to fight on. As Christians, we are not being asked even to rationalize how the good news applies to our lives. Kasi mauubusan talaga tayo niyan. Instead, what Easter invites us to do is to meet and encounter the risen Jesus again. To seek Him out and hear Him say to us, as He did to the two women that morning, do not be afraid, but go and tell everyone that I am alive. Kasi andyan po siya, buhay na buhay, pinapaalala sa atin ng mabuting balita na may Diyos na hindi kayang malupig ng kahit anong kasamaan, na gaano mang kalalim, kalawak at kalapot ang dilim, hindi pa rin ito kayang pumatay ng liwanag, gaano man itong kaliit. The light of the risen Christ is within us, It may have been dimmed, but it is always there. As Christians, this is our sure hope and our greatest weapon. We are not being asked to deny our problems or bury 
our negative feelings. We are asked instead to surrender them and let the light of Christ shine on them. Ang hinihingi sa atin ay harapin lahat ng bumabagabag at gumugulo sa ating isip at puso at sabihin sa kanilang hindi sila ang magahari sa ating buhay kasi isa lang ang pwedeng umupo sa trono ng ating puso. Tanging si Jesus lamang. At dahil diyan hindi tayo kailanman masasakop ng dilim. So instead of giving up, let Easter be our rebirth, that we may be born again in the light of His resurrection, that we may refresh our hope and rekindle our faith. And through this, may we be able to proclaim loudly, boldly, courageously, that our hope is in Jesus, that our strength is in Jesus. And because of this, no matter what, we can still rejoice. Pwedeng pwede pa rin tayong magsaya at magdiwang. For the Lord is risen. The Lord is alive. May God bless us all. In his resurrection, the Lord Jesus has given us new life and has renewed our hope. May he help us to live as new people in pursuit of our Christian ideal as we pray. Lord, fill us with joy in your victory. Lord, fill us with joy in your victory. Risen Lord, you appear to the women and told them to announce to your disciples the good news of your resurrection. May the church and her leaders courageously proclaim your victory to a world in agony and in fear, we pray. Lord, fill us with joy in your victory. The chief priest gave a large sum of money to spread the story that the disciples came by night and stole your body. May nothing dissuade us from believing in the truth of your resurrection, we pray. Lord, fill us with joy in your victory. In baptism, we die to our sinful selves and rise again with you to a new life. May we leave our baptismal promise to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church, we pray. Lord, fill us with joy in your victory. The whole creation rejoices at your victory over death. Bless our lands and seas with plentiful harvest and deliver us from natural calamities, we pray. Lord, fill us with joy in your victory. Dying, you destroyed our death, and rising, you restored our life. Grant eternal rest to our departed family members, friends, and loved ones, we pray. Lord, fill us with joy in your victory. Father, as we rejoice in the resurrection of your Son, Help us to die to our selfishness and sin and to live according to your holy will. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying, he has destroyed our debt, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, and may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Advincula, our Bishop-elect, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer during Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oracio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we, we come, come to you in our need to ask, to ask your protection, protection against the COVID-19 virus. Let us disturb and even claim lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. 
We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from this disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, the Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition nor our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Blessed James Alberione, pray for us. Blessed Timothy Jacardo, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. God bless us all. We now invite you to pray with us our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, Live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to St. Paul the Apostle I bless you, Jesus, for the great mercy granted to St. Paul in changing him from a bold persecutor to an ardent apostle of the Church. And you, great saint, obtain for me a heart docile to grace, conversion from my principal defect, and total configuration with Jesus Christ. Saint Paul the Apostle, pray for us. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers 
all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.